Hi guys, and welcome back to anti Meta Dimensions. So as you can see, I have done in Eternity Challenge 3. It was a little harder than I expected, but we've done it. So, I'm now I'm going to complete the challenge, and the next one we need to do is a Eternity Challenge 4. Um, it costs 70 time theorems, so let's see how many studies I can get. So you want to use a normal build for this one. Be careful about this one because there's a fail state. And what we're actually going to do, I think I'll get that. What we're actually going to do is we're going to fail the first completion on purpose to get this achievement. This row doesn't exist, by the way. Um, and um, we'll do these ones soon, okay? And also, um, the requirement is sort of grindy. We need a hundred million infinities. And here's how you do it. Because of this achievement here, infinity is more than five seconds long. You have 250 infinity stat. So here's how you want to set your crunch on a bar. You want to set it to time seconds between crunches and set it to 5.00 so one. Like that. And then you're going to get your infinity stats. So it's, it's like 200,000 every five seconds. Um, so, um, yeah, so I will see you when we've got a hundred million infinities. Okay, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I have over a hundred million infinities. So I'm going to unlock Eternity Challenge 4. Keep in mind, you have to use the idle path, because, um, because, you know, this challenge is, like, located in the idle path, so I'm gonna get it. And then, um, um, the thing is, we ha the goal is E2750 infinity points, and we have to do it in 16 infinities or less. So, um, I would try to do this, except I want to go for an achievement, so I'm going to fail on purpose. So by spamming the big crunch button, then I'm going to get an achievement for failing an eternity challenge. And, I know... Wait, I've still unlocked it? Okay. So I can do it for real. So I'm going to um turn off my crunch auto buyer and try to minimize my crunches as much as possible. It's sort of like the Brave Milestones in New Game Plus Plus Plus. But we're not there yet. Um Okay, absolutely not. Eight days, are you serious? Anyway, I'm going to do my first crunch because it looks like I can't go any further. I can get some replicanti now. I'm gonna just do a few crunches just to get the replicanti to its max interval. So I'm I have to get to e two thousand seven hundred infinity points, and I'm allowed sixteen infinities or less, and I've used up three. So I'm gonna. I don't know if I should infinity again, or if I should get 18 replicated galaxies. So I think what I'll do is I will just um sort of do this challenge, and then I'll see you when we've done it. So yeah, see you then. Okay guys, I'm back, and um as you can see, I can now beat the challenge. That was really easy. That only took eight infinities. And I also figured out something about the bug where it thinks you can buy in the time study. If you click it, nothing will happen. So it's not very bad. And I'm going to finish the challenge now. And wow, I got actually got eternity points from that. Did you see that? Um. Anyway, we have now completed... 1 times 2, 2 times 1, 3 times 1, and 4 times 1, and we failed an eternity challenge. Any other achievement attempts? Yes. I think I'm going to go for this one now, and it's not an easy achievement, but... Um... It's a good build for this one. So I need to turn off my infinity dimension auto buyers. I need to eternity. And I basically have to... Um, basically, get as far as I can with no infinity dimensions. I'll just, I'll just try this build. 
and see how it goes. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna get as many infinity points as possible. Like E1000 would be good. I don't know. We'll just get somewhere close to that. Um, I'm holding R because I'm using active. I'm gonna get max replicate galaxies and then infinity, and that will be my final number of infinity points. Um, so I think time dimensions plus active is a good um setup for this particular achievement, long lasting relationship. And the achievement is um have your infinity power exceed your in per second exceed your infinity power for 60 consecutive seconds during a single infinity. And I've heard that you can get this by accident, but um I'm I'm just going to get it on purpose. So I'm going to crunch and now um here's what you have to do. You just have to basically click this fast for about a minute. Like at least one time per second. Like you just click it like this for about a minute. So the reason why you wanted E1000 infinity points was to sort of be safe. And I think this is working. Um, I'm a little bit nervous, but I think it's working. Like, once it's been one minute, we're gonna probably get the achievement, and do it before infinite Eternity Challenge 7, because its reward will sort of make it impossible. Come on. You can do it. Come on, let's go, let's go. Please don't fail. I'm nervous here. Come on. Should be getting it any second. There we go. Thank you. So now I'm going to respec, go into my normal build, and I'm going to just do a run. And if I get E939,200 and something antimatter, I'll get this achievement too. Getting all the row 11 achievements. So I'm going to go for the right paths. Um, well, they're also the right paths, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to turn on my crunch auto buyer to normal 1 50 times last crunch and then let the run go. So yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye!